Hi, and welcome to the short introduction to two of the most important actions of MAS model and refactor called auto layout and refine layout. With these actions, you can achieve a clean and consistent layout for your models. Let's start with the auto layout action. With Auto Layout, you can automatically arrange all blocks and route all signal lines in the current subsystem. The action arranges the blocks according to the data flow from left to right. It aligns blocks horizontally and places them vertically to reduce line crossings and line bends so that all signal lines can be routed as straight as possible. As a result, the subsystem is easy to understand and guideline compliant. For example, the data flow is from left to right, input blocks are placed on the left, and output blocks are placed on the right. And all blocks have enough spacing to show signal names and block names clearly without any overlap. Documentation blocks and control port blocks are also placed in accordance to guidelines. In addition, auto layout ensures a consistent layout across all subsystems of your model, simplifying readability and maintainability of the model. Let's have a look at another example. Imagine you're working on this subsystem on a higher structural level of your model. On these higher levels, you usually find large subsystem blocks and many small blocks next to the large blocks, like constant or terminator blocks. Manually cleaning up the layout of such a subsystem is time-consuming and tedious. With Auto Layout, you can clean up the layout with just one click. Even if you have created such a clean layout manually, these types of subsystems often need to be functionally adapted to new requirements. Then you need to manually clean up the layout again. Instead of wasting your time with these manual adjustments, you can again use Auto Layout to correct the layout quickly and easily. Even after small changes like signal renaming, you can easily update the layout to readjust the block spacing. If you want to clean up only a small part of a subsystem without changing the overall layout that you have created, you can apply the action to a selected sub-area. To do this, just drag the selection rectangle and then select the action. The menu entry of the action now ends with the word selection. The action then cleans up only the selected part without changing the rest of the subsystem. Here is another typical example where you may want to apply the action only to a selected sub-area. 
because you don't want to change the overall structure of your layout. You can also set custom parameters for blocks and lines with the action. For example, you can color port blocks or enable signal propagation for signal lines according to your guidelines. You can simply activate the feature via the More Preferences menu. Now let's have a look at the action called Refine Layout. The Refine Layout action is similar to the Auto Layout action because it also creates a clean and uniform layout for the current subsystem. However, unlike Auto Layout, the result of Refine Layout is based on your current layout. Now let's compare this with the result of Auto Layout. The result of Auto Layout is also clean and readable, but is very different from your original layout because it does not take into account the initial state. So if you want to have a clean layout similar to your existing one, you can use Refine Layout instead of Auto Layout. Refine Layout gives you full control over the overall layout of your subsystem. You can define the structure of the layout by roughly placing the blocks and lines where you want them. The action then preserves this structure and takes care of the remaining time-consuming tasks such as aligning blocks and optimizing line routes. The full power of Refine Layout can be seen when you apply it multiple times in a row. So imagine you want to clean up the layout of this subsystem with a Refine Layout. The result looks like this because it is similar to the original layout. Now if you are not satisfied with the result, you can just roughly adjust the layout as you wish. For example, you may want the conversion blocks here and the smaller blocks here. Then just restart the action. Maybe you're still not satisfied because you would like to have these blocks here further to the left. Then just move them and restart the action. This way you can optimize the layout step by step until it meets your demands. In the same way you can also optimize the line routing if you are not satisfied with the initial result. Refine Layout is also very convenient to update the layout after you have changed your subsystem manually. So imagine you are working on this subsystem and you add a new signal line and a new block. If you use Auto Layout, the result may look quite different than before because of the new elements.
So if you just want to update the layout gradually and keep it similar to before, Refine Layout can do just that for you. As with Auto Layout, you can also use Refine Layout to set custom parameters for blocks and lines, such as block colors or signal label propagation.